Hey everybody, welcome to another Star Wars action figure review. Next up for you today, we're going to be taking a look at um, a New Hope figure from the Target Collection. That is this guy. This is Moman Nadon. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah. He is one of the Cantina patrons that you do see in A New Hope in the Moss Eisley scene. You see? As always, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. You have a very nice picture of Moman Nadon. Previously known as Hammerhead, before they actually gave him a name. So I take note of. He is number 31 in the Sorry Collection. Up top, you just have the Star Wars logo and the New Hope on the upper left hand side. And the background is actually pretty cool. It is the Cantina scene. Sorry about the glare, but you do have some Cantina band members here and a couple other patrons. I forgot this guy's name, I think it's Bomb Vidim. I'm not too sure. But yeah, he did come out in the Vintage Collection. On the back, this is the Sorrow Collection. You do have one of those character profiles, which you could pause and take a look at. You do have a picture of the figure right here, and you do have other figures of the wave. And you do have a hologram right here. So yeah, let's just take a brief look at the figure. See, very cool. This is an updated version of the Power of the Force 2. Um, Hammerhead that we did see in 1996, 97 I believe. Not too sure on that. But yeah, uh, let's just take a quick look at some of his accessories. He does come with, as I said, a random hologram figure. In this case I got Yoda in red. This is my third Yoda. Not too sure why he's red. Yeah. He does also come with this stand. I guess it's like a bar. Stand, you can see right here. Look kind of like chapstick. It's a hollow, very light plastic. Not too many details, but it is a nice like addition to it. He does come with his stand, as you can see right here. It says Mom and the Don. And it just says uh, Star Wars up top. It doesn't say New Hope. So I can take note of. He also comes with this staff, which I don't know if you see him within the movies, but he does come with it, which is very nice. It says good molding. It's in bright gold. Up top, it's very nice. It looks it looks kind of like a harpoon now that I think about it, which is very ironic because since he's hammerhead, he's like a shark. Just realized that, and he does come with a drink, which is painted in like a sky blue, with white, and it is hollow inside, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Now the figure itself is a vast improvement of the one we saw. Uh, the only thing they need to work on if they ever do release another one is the articulation. Which I'll be talking about in just a bit. Uh, he does have very good details throughout his um, his wardrobe. You see, the comma is also done very nice. Has uh, a lot of molding in it, like these ropes that have these very tiny pouches right here, molded on in like a tan color. You see, his belt also does have a big pouch right here and a darker beige brown he does have a very bright gold buckle painted on with like an infinity sign he does come with a separate piece it doesn't come off at least I think you could force it off if you really wanted to but it doesn't the figure doesn't look good without it it's like this hood you see right here it has some good molding on itself uh, his skin tone is very nice um, he has like a very like, brownish I guess just look at his head scope so he's very brown and then like there's like a grayish purple. I think it's to simulate shading, like shadow, because you do see him in a very dark environment. The head scope is very nice with a ton of grooves, a ton of details. He has on the side, I guess these are called gills. I'm not entirely sure what these are. That's his mouth. It's also very nice. You can see. The molding is very cool. Pretty spot on. The fingers are molded very nice. And the paint is very consistent throughout even to his feet, which are rather large. Um, so this helps with standing him. And I got no problems with him not standing. And his pants, as well as his undershirt, are painted in a brown, which are very cool. They do have stitching painted on. You see right here, these black X's on the sides of his knees. So that's cool. Now, the only two complaints I have about this figure are uh, articulation, which he does have a swivel neck, which is very limited. Um, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, and swivel hips. 
no elbow or wrist articulation, which those are really my main concerns when I get figures. Knee and ankle articulation, those come, you know, those come after. Uh, as I said, though, his feet are big, so I didn't really, like, have a problem with him not having ball hinged uh, ankles. But it's really the elbows and the wrists. Um, another problem he has is um, the way his hands are molded. Now, when you pose this figure, you have to have the staff here and you have to have the drink here. I'll show you right now. His hands are very wide, so as you can see, he doesn't hold his staff. He just slips and falls. So it'd be very difficult to pose it. And it doesn't even do it that well here either. See? Kind of like slides up and down. It doesn't stand like in a stand. Uh, it's not stood the way you want it to. So it's off to the side. And you can't move his wrist, so... It's a bit unfortunate. The cup, um, it does fit in both hands. Um, as you saw previously, I had it here. But here it is kind of difficult. Like, you really have to press it down. But it will go down if you force it. So, oops, just dropped that. Hope I didn't lose it. But yeah. Um, here it is. There we go. So, yeah, this figure is pretty good. Major update. I mean,. The other Roman Adam was mediocre at best. Which, if you want to check it out, I definitely recommend you go to rebelscum.com. They have any figure you can imagine, pictures and stuff. So, you might want to check that out. But yeah, this is a very good improvement. I don't consider this the definitive Roman Adam, but it's definitely a much better version. So, yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. I'll be doing a couple more videos soon. Stay tuned for those. Until then, see you on the next video.